Hey guys, so this is my May favorites. We are almost into June today. It is the 26th, so I thought I would go ahead and film it for you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot to talk about. So I'm going to start with tools, and that would be brushes and things like that. So the first thing is the Tweezer Man Travel Eyelash Curler. It looks like this, but this will come off back here and you can use it to curl your lashes. This gives a really good curl, it holds all day, um, and I really, really like this one. Um, I normally buy the e.l.f. one, but since I haven't bought one since, I really like this one and it's nothing's wrong with it. Um, for other tools, I did an entire review, there's another one, but I haven't really used it too much now. Um, there's an entire review on these, so I will link that review down below, but these brushes are seriously amazing, and you can buy them as a set. I use this for my foundation, it's just a flat top kabuki brush. I use this to contour with, it's just an angled kabuki brush or, or something like that. And then a tapered kabuki brush to set my under eye. So I really have been loving those. And then to set my entire face, because I will set my cream products that are also my favorite. I use the Sony Kashuk like big fluffy dense brush for setting. Okay, so moving on to products. The Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer is amazing. It's my all time favorite and it's about half, nah, it's a little more than halfway but I use it every single day. I'll use it at night. Um, it's even my tone and my texture of my skin. It's very nice and hydrating. I really recommend it for everyone. Okay, I have the Up and Up Acne Spot Treatment that is oil-free that I really like. I don't like the one with benzoyl in it, whatever it's called, but this has cellulosic acid in it. That's the one that I really like, um, and it will it will get rid of my blemishes within about two days, I would say, um, unless it's not a blemish because with my disease I have, um, I get these, um, I don't know what they're called. I think they're like abscess type things, so yeah. Um, but yeah, this took a little bit longer, but I haven't been on top of it. But if I use it every day, it's gone within days, seconds. Um, my favorite foundation of the month is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And this is in the shade Classic Ivory. I'm wearing it today, and it looks alright. And for some reason, I look like I have a line on my face, but when I go to look, it's not there. Anyway, favorite foundation. It is a little messy. <sighs> It's almost empty. This thing is like $10, but it's full coverage, and I love it. It stays all day. Okay, so for lips, I have been loving this um, Soft Lips, what is it, Soft Lips Cube in Vanilla Bean. Looks like this. It's super moisturizing. I just love how moisturizing it is, and I love the scent. just has a really nice, um, sweet smell. If you don't like sweet smells, though, they have other scents, too. Um, so, just so you know, it's a lot more moisturizing than EOS. Um, my favorite eye base right now is the Maybelline New York Color Tattoo Metal 24 Hour. Um, and what is this? Inked in Pink? Yeah. Inked in Pink. It is limited edition. You might still be able to find it on Amazon, but it's just a really pretty pink shade that it works as an eyeshadow primer because Urban Decay has not been working for me. And this has. So, I really like that. The Sephora Peach Beige Number no. 13 I love as a face highlight under the brows type of thing. It's so pretty, but it's so natural. This is just a deluxe sample, and this has lasted me some time now. It's a very natural kind of look. It's like right here. Um, you can't really tell it right now, but it's really pretty on the face. Um, for brows... I have been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Brow Kit, just the lightest shade this month. Love it to death. These three colors I like to mix together to use as a highlight sometimes, not all the time, but this is my favorite product for brows. Um, for blush this month, this is really odd that I even decided that this would work as a blush. Um, this is the MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow Duo thing in Odd Couple. And you might be thinking, you're putting purple on your cheeks. No, because I have it on today. I wore the lighter shade up here, which looks like this when you swatch it, and then when it's blended out, it just has this really pretty kind of peachy sheen to it. So it adds a nice glow, plus it's got some color to it. So I like that. Okay, 
Next thing is this eyeshadow. I did a review on Crush Cosmetics a while ago, so the review for Crush Cosmetics will be down below. But this is Crush Cosmetics Natural Mineral Makeup in Tempest. And it's a beautiful copper shade. I'm going to swatch it because I have to. Can't really show you the color in the pot because it is a loose pigment. But let me swatch it because I can't resist. You can apply these wet or dry. So there it is. It's so beautiful. It's just a great copper shade. I love it. have been using that on my lid recently. I have some other colors, but this is the one I've been using the most. Um, if I had to pick a second, it would probably be Burlesque. So those are great. Not sure if those are full size, though, because she did send them to me for a review, but I love them. Okay, another eye thing is the Avon Dark Brown Luxury Eyeliner in number U40. It's just a really beautiful, creamy dark brown. Took me no time to draw on. It's super pigmented, very affordable, super luxurious and creamy. Lasting power is like all day. You do have to resharpen it though. It's not retractable, so that could be a downside for some of you. Let me take a drink. Okay, so for under eye concealer, let me grab it because I didn't get it out. Um, I have been using this cream concealer palette, which the review, again, is up right now. Again, will be linked down below. Um, sorry, I thought it smelled like vanilla for a second. And I love this. I love this for concealing under the eyes right here. I like this highlight that's in here. It's just nice and subtle. Um, the color correctors are great. Um, contouring shades are spot on. Um, all of these have been swatched now because I just did a blog post on it, but that's linked with the review. This is only like $2.99. Um, it's a great product. Love it. To set that, I use the Smashbox Ultimate Eyes for Hazel, like quad thing. I just use one shade in here though. I mean, can we tell which one it is? I use this. It's so nice and buttery. I love it. So it's nice and brightening for under the eyes which is perfect and it just feels so great when it's under there. The only thing I don't like about this is it has that NARS packaging and it looks super dirty all the time. So just keep in mind. But that's a really good thing to set your under eyes with if you have it and you don't know what to do with it because I don't really like it on my eyes. Okay, so next, let me grab it because it's a little bit farther away. Some more makeup items. Um, the Hard Candy Lip Tattoo Lip Stain and Breath Freshening Gloss. I only recommend this for the breath freshening gloss because it pretty much is like toothpaste in a bottle. I love it. It literally does help with your breath. And it's not sticky. It's a very smooth formula. It smooths everything, blends everything out. It's a really great product. Um, this color just didn't happen to work for me. This side is really watery. Favorite mascara, which is almost empty, is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara. I love it. It is so lengthening and so volumizing. I love this to death. So I definitely recommend this one. Um, not for the bottom lashes, though. I'm still on the hunt for bottom lashes. So if you guys know of a good bottom lash mascara from the drugstore, please let me know. Um, also, for this, if you guys know if they sell it... The lip gloss, just the breath freshening part, please let me know. Alright. My favorite lipstick currently, it's what I have on right now. I just added extra gloss on top like you just saw. It's from MAC. Excuse me, this is the, what are you? Mark was D. Wonder Woman collection one, but it's just a perfect nude for me, I feel. It's like not too... I don't know, it has a bit of a pink undertone to it. It's almost gone. Did you guys see how much is left? I'm like really sad about it. I don't want it to be gone because it's just a great everyday color. Throw it on, you're out the door. Okay, so for some body and face products. Oh, I feel like I have a sneeze or something. Um, I have been loving the Herbal Essences Body Wash Hello Hydration. Um, and this one is the coconut one. It doesn't really smell... 
too coconutty. It smells a little more fruity than coconut, but I do smell some coconut in here. It is nice, nice and hydrating. At first, I was on the fence about it because it doesn't lather like the Olay does, but it lathers nice. But you feel like you just used Olay, and it's probably cheaper. If it's not, though, I'll probably buy Olay just because. But this one is a really good alternative if you don't like Olay, or if you want something that smells a little bit better than Olay, and you like herbal essence, give this a go. I really like it, though. I mean, it just smells so fruity. I like the Hello Hydration. They have Happy Go Lather, and there's another one that I haven't tried yet, but I've tried the Happy Go Lather. Um... Okay, my favorite makeup remover, all-in-one, and I need to go and recommend this to Melissa. This is the eye makeup remover lotion from Neutrogena, Neutrogena that is hydrating. This gets rid of waterproof, like stay all day, not going to come off like tattoo makeup. It's crazy. This is so awesome. It hydrates, it gets off any, you know, waterproof eyeliner or mascara that you have. <sighs> You don't need very much. The only thing that I think is weird that's not, that doesn't really make any sense is that this smells and reminds me of sunscreen, but there's no sunscreen in this. Um, but this is a great all-in-one product. I think it's like 3 to $4 or something like that. Um, I think I bought mine from Walmart, but I actually bought this because the packaging is super cute. I like that color, but there wasn't really any other reason for me to buy it, but I'm going to continue to buy it. Um, okay, so this is the Hydrate Plus Defrizz Kua Kua Oil Conditioner but from Organics. Beauty Pure and Simple, that brand. Um, they're like $4.99 at Target. Uh, this is amazing. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla and just like a warm kind of scent. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. If you have frizz or overprocessed hair like me, I have this blonde overprocessed hair that's just crazy. Um, and you like have terrible damaged ends, this will make your hair just feel like it was when you were born. So I put it mostly on the ends and then I kind of work whatever's left in my hand um, up into the rest of my hair and wash it out. Well, I let it sit for five minutes and then I wash it out. Okay, another face cleanser I like to use is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub prevents that prevents blemishes and minimizes your pores. This has cellulosic acid in it as well. This though I only use about one to two times a week when I shower and then if I need to use it in between I will just use it on the targeted areas like where my blemishes are. But this is a really good product. Um, definitely does help get rid of any of your blemishes that you have. Um, this and the Up and Up combined is a great little lifesaver. It smells just like the regular St. Ives ap apricot scrub. You can't really smell the cellulosic in it. Um, if you were curious about that, this is a really good product. I really do recommend it, you guys. I love it. Okay. And the last one I'm going to talk about, which is my new favorite, and I'm always going to buy it. I've been looking for a blonde shampoo forever at the drugstore that was affordable, and I think this was like six bucks. This is the um, Ever Pure Sulfate Free Blonde Brass, Brass Banisher System Shampoo. Um, they do have a treatment as well as a conditioner, but I just bought the shampoo to see how it would go. Um, this is by L'Oreal Paris, the hair expertise, and this is amazing. This gets rid of any brass you have, and it makes it more of a white blonde. It smells like citrus, if you are curious, um, and it does have that lilac-y the lilac scent, or no, the lilac color to it. The only thing I find to be a little bit weird is that the, this is a very thick product, which is good, um, but the whole, like, it takes you forever to get your shampoo out of here. So that's the only thing that I have a bummer about. The packaging isn't the bomb. So I wish it was in a different type of packaging, but definitely recommend this for anybody that has blonde hair, white hair, or gray hair even. So this would be a really good thing for you guys. Um, and it doesn't dry out your hair either, but it does lather. Sulfate is, makes your hair lather, but this does lather. So it's awesome. I want to get the, um, the treatment as well and try that out. But like I said, I think this is like six bucks, no more than $6. So this is a really great item. 
Uh, actually, this is my last favorite. I've been using it throughout this video. These are called Makeup Away or something like that. I'll leave the name listed down below. Everything mentioned in the video will be listed down below. These I got from Walmart in a three pack for like $3, like $2.97. This is a microfiber towel that if you just put water on it um, and just go over any makeup, waterproof or not, it will take it off. It will just melt it away. So you don't even need a makeup remover. I just like to be extra hydrated. So that's why I have a makeup remover and moisturizer and all of that jazz. Um, but these will change your life. And literally remove swatch as well too. If you're a YouTuber and you're like, towels just aren't getting it for me this will get it for you. It's just so nice and not harsh for the skin or anything. It's not drying. It still leaves your skin with moisture, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I always have one um, in here on my vanity as well as in the bathroom for if I do any masks or anything like that. But that's it for my May empties. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Recommend me some products down below in the comments, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.